Hey YouTube, this is The Green Cabbie and today we're going to be making a liquid calcium concentrate. Make it for 20 cents a gallon and save over 10,000% as opposed to buying liquid calcium carbonate fertilizer for your garden. You take your eggshells and what you want to do is you either want to bake them for about 15 minutes at 200 or stick them in the microwave for about two minutes to make sure you kill any kind of residual bacteria in there. You throw them in a little cup and crush them up. So you can use a mortar and a pestle. We're using a jar. Once you pulverize them, what you're going to do is you're going to add vinegar and fill it up to about an inch past. Uh, where it is and what it's going to do is the vinegar is going to dissolve all of the calcium from the shells and make it a liquid calcium concentrate with a lot of other micronutrients and base nutrients. We're going to go ahead and add our vinegar and we're going to make sure that the vinegar is covering the top. And as you see it's bubbling rapidly and what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit for about 24 hours uh, so that it can go ahead and dissolve the calcium from the eggshells. And what we're going to have is we're going to have the eggshells on the bottom and this is going to be a concentrated liquid calcium that you can use for your aquaponics, your hydroponics, as well as liquid fertilizer for your grow beds, uh, whether it's outside or inside. Um, you know, to prevent calcium deficiency in the soil. And this actually makes it readily available uh, so that your plants and your roots can actually take them up. I don't know if you can see the action in there, but it's actually ripping the calcium from the shells. And you see how it's going up and, you know, the eggshells are floating to the top and then they're coming down and all the bubbles inside. It's an amazing process to get your liquid calcium. Science is a wonderful thing. It is now the following day and as you see there is no longer any bubbling going on here. So the calcium has been effectively stripped from the eggshells. You see on top there's no bubbling. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and strain this off and then we're going to go ahead and test the calcium content with our Nutrifin testing system. We've got a coarse and a fine strainer and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just pour it through and make sure that we capture all of the old eggshells and the great thing is is you can actually just throw those in your compost pile or your garden if you desire and then we'll take the magic liquid So we have our strained liquid that only has minute particles uh, left in there because we went ahead and strained thoroughly. Then we have all of our dry eggshells here that, like I said, you can go ahead and throw in your compost pile or in your raised garden bed. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check the pH uh, with our Ecotex pH 2. Uh, we went ahead and just calibrated this with a 4 and a 7 just to confirm uh, that we get the correct pH. Let's go ahead and throw it in there and see what it is. And it looks like we have a pH of 5.3. Now remember, 5.2, that is the vinegar uh, solution. All right, so we went ahead and just tested the general hardness so that we can figure out what the calcium level is. Looks like the general hardness is 340. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test the solution again uh, to find out what the calcium content is of that 340. Right, time to test our second vial. Uh, we're going to take the calcium droplets and it's going to be 7 of CA1, it's going to be 2 of CA2, and start off with 1 of CA3 and we're going to keep adding drops until it turns a violet color. Went ahead and tested the calcium uh, concentrate and it uh, looks like the calcium concentrate out of the general hardness of 340 is 336 so it's almost pure calcium 
uh, with other micronutrients and uh, base nutrients, stuff like that. So very, very high dose of calcium uh, that is bioavailable uh, for the roots of your plants, your aquaponics and all that kind of stuff. We would suggest that when you add it into your aquaponics, you add it in the top uh, where the drain is for the grow bed so that you don't shock the fish adding it all at once. And uh, you can add this like one part to 10 parts water as a liquid fertilizer. Thanks for joining us today. Subscribe for more videos on organic gardening and green build projects. Check out our organic gardening playlist, our Never Leak Rain Barrel, or our Chicken Coop Mansion for $50 or less.